right. Now, Depeche Mode gets innovative. Now they reach a landmark. What's going on, my creatures of the night? I'm JD. Continuing with my Depeche Mode discography, we are now in 1984. And Depeche Mode puts out their best album yet. The previous albums are have yet to beat this album. This album is the first to have more of a dark feel, for sure. Um, it's got a dark feel, and it's got a it's got a bit of that political. Um, involvement in the lyricism. Uh, you can definitely see Martin's writing is just awesome. It's at its absolute best in this album. You can see Dave's vocals at their full potential. You can you can see Alan Wilder incorporating new sounds into their instrumentation, which really made some of the songs pretty cool, actually. And these guys were known... You can see that these guys were known as you know, synth masters. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, this album has some of the darkest lyricism I have heard in in I've I've heard in uh, in my lifetime for sure. Songs such as "Blasphemous Rumors" um, cover various dark subjects such as teen depression, suicide, uh, religion. Um, it tackles all those subjects and for, and sort of brings them together into this tragic story about, yeah. I'm not going to go in detail, but definitely listen to the song. Um, but at the same time, it has this cool, uh, poppy kind of instrumentation, so the song doesn't sound as dark. But uh, for sure, it's a super dark song. Another song I wanted to point out was Somebody. This song also, it uh, it's... Martin on the piano. You hear Martin's vocals um, rather than Dave. And uh, Martin is also quite the good vocalist. Um, and you can definitely hear that in this song. This song sounds more like a love ballad or a wedding song, but once again, the lyrics are far more than that. They're far darker than that. Uh, lyrics such as, Though my views may be wrong, they may even be perverted. She'll hear me out and won't easily be converted. To hear that with a wedding-like piano melody, and to hear Martin sing it in such a happy way, it's actually quite disturbing, but it's disturbing in a cool way. But then we get into songs such as People Are People, and uh, People Are People is... It has a lot to do with humanity, and politics as well, and uh, it kind of mixes those two together. But this song was really deep, but at the same time had potential to be a huge hit. Um, what they did with this album is you can hear the pipes in the background of a lot of these songs, and they actually went out and recorded themselves hitting different pipes, and Wilder mixed it all onto an Emulator 2 synthesizer, and he, uh, was, he created this cool rhythm that went along with the beats, with the pipe sounds and all kinds of stuff. It's, this album's supposed to be, uh, I s personally think it's an early influence on industrial music, for sure. It does have that industrial vibe. Um, all in all, this album was huge. It's definitely a landmark for Depeche Mode. Um, their career skyrocketed after this album. Um, People Are People was what got them really big. You heard their songs on the radio. You heard them in clubs. You know, they started doing bigger live shows. Uh, they were on Top of the Pops, MTV, all that. You know, they were huge in 1984 because of this album. Definitely a landmark in Depeche Mode's career. And a fantastic album. Uh, if you're a Depeche Mode fan, you got to hear this album and hear their first landmark. And uh, you can definitely hear Depeche Mode coming out to their full potential in this album. You don't really hear anything being held back, for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, my creatures of the night. Stay tuned for the rest of the, for the rest of the Depeche Mode discography, and comment any discography 
or album review requests you want below, and uh, rock on. <laughs>